Hey guys, welcome to Technobook, and in this video, I will be showing you how to use the 12 Data API to get stock information using Python. So let's get started. So now the first thing we will need to do is to create an account with 12 Data. And so what you will need to do is to go to this URL up here, uh, 12data.com, and you will need to sign up for an account. So once you've signed up for an account, you will need to go to the account page. And in here, if we click show, you can see the API key. And so what you will need to do is you will need to copy that API key because we will be using that shortly. So we will need to import a few modules. So the first module we're going to import is requests. So import requests. And if you don't have requests, just type in pip install requests. And we will also need to import time. So just type in import time. So we will need to first start off by putting down the ticker symbol that we want to actually get this stock information for. And for this tutorial, I'm just going to use Microsoft stock. So the ticker symbol is MSFT. So we're going to define a variable. So ticker equals in quotations MSFT. And now right here, you will need to paste in your API key after we create a variable. And we will need to paste our API key within these quotation marks. So as you can see right now, I have pasted in my API key. So now we'll need to create a function. I'm going to call this function get stock price. So what we're going to have to do is type in def get stock price. And this will take in two parameters. So the first one is ticker symbol. And it will also take in the API. Uh, we'll just call it API for now. So first, we will need to now put in our URL inside this function. So we'll need to create a variable URL equals. And we will need to get this URL. So the way we do that is by going back into this 12 data thing. And what we will need to do is just click on API docs right here. So now we'll need to go down into time series down here and click on real time price. Now I'll scroll down and copy the sample URL. So we'll just copy this. And if we go back into our program, we can just paste that thing into here. So we will need to change a few things in here. So first we can remove this and source equals docs. We can remove that thing on the end. And we will now need to convert this into a format string. So let's put in an F right in front of it. So instead of AAPL, which is the default, we can change that to our ticker. So we'll put in ticker symbol in uh, curly brackets and it will be replaced in this area. And inside the API key section, we will also need to replace that with the API within curly brackets. So that way, what it will do is it'll say symbol equals, and then it'll put in MSFT once we pass that in. And it will also put in our API key right here. So now we need to make a request to this URL and get its response. So the way we do that is just by typing in request dot get in here we'll type in url we need to convert this to a json so we can access this using python so dot json and open up uh, parentheses and then go go to the start of the line and put this in a variable i'm going to put it in response response equals request dot get url dot json okay so 
Now let's just try printing this response. And if we run that, wait for this to run. Oh wait, I actually forgot to call the function. So we'll just type in get stock price with the ticker and the API key right here. Now let's run this again. And we get a price variable, we get price, and we also get the actual price. So now, uh, since it's in the form of uh, JSON, we can actually uh, access this using Python. So the way we do that is just by typing in price equals response with the key of price. And instead of response right here, we can put in price. And let's run that. We see that we get a number. So if you want to keep prices in this form, you can uh, you, you can skip this next step that I'm going to do. I want the cents to have two decimal places and not five. So the way we're going to do that is by opening up uh, square brackets again and putting in a colon and a negative three. And what that's going to do is just chop off the last three decimal places. So we print out price again we see that we get $216.50. So instead of getting the stock price now, instead of printing it, we need to return this. So return, and we'll return the price. So that way we can actually uh, manipulate this price um, later on in the, in the code. So now we can just go down and just type in stock, our price equals this get stock price function call. Okay, so now we're going to have to create another function. I'm going to call that get stock quote. So we'll type in def get stock quote. And this will take in the same two arguments ticker symbol and API. Just copy that, paste that in here. And we will just need to copy this entire thing right into here. So we'll need to make a few changes. First thing we will need to do is change this to quote. And we will change uh, this uh, thing on the end. We'll just say return response. and we can return that. So now we can get a variety of responses from here. We can get the stock name equals, we type a name equals, uh, get stock quote with the arguments of uh, ticker and API key and we need to have that set to the index of a uh, name. So now we can print out both of these. So print print uh, name and stock price. And if we run this, we get Microsoft Corp and $216.50. So now if you want to access attributes like the exchange that the stock is in or the previous high and low values, you will need to just modify this code a tiny bit. So first let's change the name of uh, this first thing right up here, we'll change that to uh, stock data. 
and we will get rid of that name key at the end. So now what we can do is if you want to access attributes, I will have these um, things linked below in the description. And this is possible because everything in stock data is inside a JSON dictionary and we can access it using keys. So you can access multiple attributes like exchange, the currency, open, the high, low, close, and volume, and much more if you look at the documentation of the uh, 12 data API. So right now, if you want to actually print out the name now, what you'll need to do is just type in uh, name equals stock data with the key of name and it should work like it did before. And now you get to access multiple attributes. So that's the end of this tutorial. If you liked it, please hit like and get subscribed. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.